Geochemical Prospecting Key Points Exploration geochemistry or geochemical prospecting includes any method of mineral exploration based on the systematic measurement of one or more chemical or chemically influenced properties of a naturally occurring material. The property measure is most commonly the trace concentration of some chemical element or group of elements. The naturally occurring material may be rock, soil, stream sediment, glacial sediment, surface water, groundwater, vegetation, microorganisms, animal tissues, particulates or gases. History of geochemical prospecting. It is clear from historical records that the principles of geochemical exploration have been applied in prospecting over several thousand years. Geobotanical indicators were recognized as early as the 8th and the 9th centuries. Analytical capability is such that relatively rapid, sensitive analysis can be achieved for virtually all metals of economic interest. New technological advances are expanding our established capability to cost effectively detect and interpret dispersion patterns related to mineral deposits in a wide variety of environments. Through multi-element analysis, geochemical data can reveal signatures related to distinct geological units and geochemical processes. This capability, when applied to rock samples, permits geological correlations as well as the more precise delineation of otherwise invisible alteration features related to mineralization. When applied to soil and other type of samples, multi-element data can help outline major geological units and the extent of alteration systems and identify the presence of mineralization buried under extensive cover. The various components of a geochemical exploration program include number one, sampling design, number two, choice of sample media, number three, sample collection, number four, sample analysis, number fifth, quality control of analysis, number six, data visualization and evaluation, number seven, interpretation. Good design and planning including orientation and a well-conducted sampling programs constitute the foundation of all sound geochemical exploration work. Inappropriate sample preparation prior to analysis can destroy the integrity of the well-chosen sample. It follows that no matter how accurate and precise the techniques used for analysis or how advanced the statistical treatments and the computer programs used for data handling and interpretation, they cannot resurrect the lost quality and a representativity and restore the decreased probability of exploration success caused by poor planning, improper field sampling, faulty sample preparation or mismatch between sample media and the digestion method. Geochemical program planning. Experience has confirmed that the success of a geochemical survey depends largely on the correct assessment of all the nature factors that influence the mobility and the dispersion of the metallic elements of interest. These nature factors are physical and chemical properties of the elements or parameters of interest, nature of the geology and the mineralization, geomorphological history of the field area, vegetation, topographic and climatic conditions. The process of oxidation, weathering, erosion, transportation, sedimentation, and a diagenesis that characterize the surfacial environment are also need to consider. Geochemical orientation surveys. When contemplating a geochemical survey in a new region, the most reliable method of determining the extent and the nature of dispersion 
patterns is to conduct an orientation survey. The objective of orientation sampling is to determine and outline the existence and the characteristics of dispersion patterns or anomalies associated with mineralization and also background levels in similar environmental conditions. The orientation survey commonly involves the collection of a number of relatively closely spaced samples over and in the vicinity of known but preferably undisturbed mineralization with the express purpose of outlining the dispersion patterns in the available sampling area. The detailed examination of the nature and the shape of the dispersion patterns invariably yields information on the principal natural factors responsible for the observed distribution of anomalies. Table 3.4-1 is a synthesis of the important parameters that can be derived from a properly planned and executed orientation survey. This is the table which tells us the parameters uh, which to be derived from a properly planned orientation survey. Based on this information, the optimum physical parameters, sample, depth, sample interval, analytical technique, ADC, for routine surveying can be chosen that necessarily take into account the defined dispersion characteristics as well as the physical, logistical, and economic conditions pertaining to the project. The soil profile interval in an orientation survey over more extensive types of mineralization will be proportionality larger than the intervals chosen for narrow vein type mineralization. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and share.